Hello everyone and welcome back to the Nerd Cave. In this video we are going to review this microcontroller from Allegro which is the Pico W5 microcontroller which is based on the RP2040 microcontroller and it also supports Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Nice features about this microcontroller is that it has a USB-C and also a reset button which the normal RP2040 doesn't have. It also has the Wi-Fi module which is a BW16 and there is documentation to help you set up the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. There is no option to buy the microcontroller with header pins so you're gonna have to go and solder header pins on yourself. So let's go test a few examples in the documentation provided. The first thing we want to do is flash this with micro pythons. We'll press and hold the boot cell and then plug this in the computer. Wait a second or two and then let go. Inside Fonny, we will just click here at the right corner, click install micro python, give this a few seconds to go check all the versions. Then we'll click here, click on the Raspberry Pi Pico, the first one and click install. Now, it will take maybe a few seconds depending on your internet speed and then you will hear the Pico will connect again to your computer. Like that. So we can click here close, we can click here at the bottom again and then we can click on micro python and we have micro python running on our microcontroller. Let's look at the first example and that is to blink our onboard LED. So I'll just copy the code here, go back to Fonny and I'm going to paste the code here. Just want to make sure I'm connected to MicroPython. Yes, we are connected. And let's press run. And here we can see our LED is on for one second and then off for one second. What I'm going to use this microcontroller for is to connect to my Wi-Fi to control things locally here at home. So this example here is very important. This is to connect to a 5G band Wi-Fi. So I'm going to copy this code here. Go to Fonny. And here you're gonna have to go put in your SSID. Let me just quickly put in mine here. And you're gonna have to go put in your Wi-Fi password. So now if we run this code, we should be able to connect to our Wi-Fi. And there we have it, we are connected to our Wi-Fi. I enjoy seeing companies making their own Pico boards and there is also a few other microcontrollers which I'm going to make videos of that's also based on the RP2040. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.